Hello. Uh, today you're going to do another lab. The lab is called Shake, Rattle, and Roll. There will be a PDF attached to the Google Classroom as well as a Google Doc, which will answer the questions to this. Uh, this is what you need. It's rubber bands. The directions say two, but I'm going to use a bunch of them and wrap around the book. This will make more sense later. Uh, some tape, sandpaper, and a couple of good sized books. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to take the sandpaper and we're going to tape the sandpaper to one of the, to the books like this. And the type of sandpaper that I'm using is called medium grade sandpaper. Um, I'm going to set that like this on the, on the second book. We're going to take the rubber band. Now I said to use two rubber bands, but I didn't have big ones. And I really didn't want to spend money on buying big rubber bands. So I bought a bunch of small ones, link them together. And I'm going to attach them around the book like, like this. So now you have this rubber band around your book. Now notice that the sandpaper I put on top of the other sandpaper like this, rough side down. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to, going to tape sandpaper to the book. You could do this if you want to at home, or if you want to, you could use the results from this video. Now, when I say use results from this video, what I'm saying is you make your observations. Hello, Kitty. This is Molly Bean. She likes to play. You could describe what your observations are based upon this video. You don't just cite the video saying that's your evidence. That's not acceptable. You have to cite uh, what you saw in the video. You have to describe it uh, using typing, using words, to let me know what you saw. So now we're just about there. Okay, so notice that I have two books. Both have sandpaper on them. One has a rubber band attached to it. I'm going to put both sandpaper face down like this. And what we're going to do, is I'm going to take this and I'm going to pull there you go. I'm going to pull this. We'll see what happens. So, So a couple observations I want to point out. Notice that the rubber band right here stored the energy of movement. And the sandpaper acts like two tectonic plates. These do act like two tectonic plates. The sandpaper is, is, creates a lot of friction. But what happens when you pull the rubber band, energy is stored in here. And the more... The more energy that gets stored in here, the more likely that the friction won't hold. And in essence, that's what an earthquake is. Is two tectonic plates will, will rub against each other. Friction will keep them there. And there's going to be a point in time when there's going to be so much energy or so much force that that force will overcome the friction causing, causing movement. And that movement causes energy is what we know as earthquakes.
So that's that's the lab. Like I said, if you want to use these observations, make sure you describe your observations. You type them out. Don't just cite the video or anything. Um, there will be a Google Doc that you can uh, write your answers on. If you have any questions about this, please email me. And I'll answer them the best of my ability. Um, and I hope you guys have a continue to have a safe and fun time with your family. Bye.